Her Crash the Titans, we know that this Crash the Titans is with Wiccan, but we're going against America Chavez, and we can see her kit is at 233, three, and we'll, we'll look at her real quick, see what her powers are. And she's down and down. I know she hasn't been 330. She's not in the 330s yet. And she really should be, but. You know, Polaris is a thing. And so we'll look at it at level 2. So her red ability is a passive punch, everyone. And at the start of the one, well, not even the start of the battle. I, when I was reading the flavor text about battle, my mind uh, went into starting the battle. So America's max damage is increased by 10% for each AP she has in that color. And so it makes no sense in, in denying her any colors. I mean, you can deny her in her strongest colors, but matches in her, her off colors, which would be purple, blue, and black will do a little bit more damage than normal. But her her on color matches, red, yellow, and green, will do a little bit more damage. And take it to the multiverse. Whenever you're, the AI makes a match for a greater, creates two trap tiles in that color. Whenever America has at least trap tiles in three colors, three different colors, you remove them all and you deal damage and then you generate AP in whatever colors they are. So if you have trap tiles on purple, blue, and red, and the and they happen to be of uh, the ticket to the multiverses trap tiles not not any other trap tiles it just has to be the ticket of the multiverse trap tiles and then you'll do the damage and then you'll generate two ap in the colors that i have listed friend of me hit day is america's green passive ability if you have four colors that have more ap than your opponent then you create a critical tile. But if you have AP and at least five different colors more than your opponent, then you also deal damage. So the thing there, we want to make sure that we have a larger AP pool than American Chavez. So the critical tile isn't up here on the board. But luckily for Wiccan, I don't have to worry too much about that. So we'll actually look at Wiccan on the in-game screen. My Wiccan's at 324, and he also has the support of his good friend and partner, the Hulkling. We'll look at Hulkling's support after we get through talking about Wiccan. Mystical Destiny is a passive blue ability at the start of the turn if you have at least six ap in all colors we can transform into the demiurge and then the power becomes the power of the demiurge and this is also a passive ability where each time you make a match with wiccan it'll clear out a row or column and it'll deal damage and generate ap and then whenever the um, the matches are made, Wiccan becomes the um, the target of the enemy enemy's attacks. So in layman's terms, Wiccan's out in front. Magical Barrier is Wiccan's yellow power that costs 9 AP. It creates three random five turn countdown tiles that produce damage from enemy matches and powers by a percentage and then whenever they're matched and destroyed Wiccan true heals for 
a set amount of health. And then finally chain lightning then you deal a set amount of damage and then you destroy a chosen column and if that column contains an enemy special tile then you destroy another random column if that has an enemy special tile then you continue to to destroy it until there are no columns that have enemy special tiles the uh I guess the drawback is they destroy tiles, deal damage, but don't generate AP. I wish it kind of did generate AP, but that's neither here nor there. I will take a look at the whole thing support. The first rank it increases Wiccan's or any supported character's base match damage by 70. Rank 2 increases the health by uh, a set amount in my case is 1324 and then at rank 3 there's a chance to fortify a random special friendly tile is that each time we fire off a power and then the synergy perk with Wiccan at the start of the turn there's a less than 25% chance to gain 2 AP in a color that you have less than 6 of. Now, I wish the synergy perk was actually a, a part of Wiccan, but once we go into the deep dive of Wiccan, we'll, uh, then we'll go from there and explain. So here, I'm just going to go and they boost, boost those team up. And then once we get into the fight, I'll explain how it is that, that lower level Wiccans should be able to complete this fight. For the most part, what you want to do, you want to make sure that the AI does not get any match fours on the board. So if you can take out any match fours, go for it. But you want to also make sure that America doesn't have more AP in whatever color you are chasing otherwise those critical tiles will be on the board and we'll be in for a long long battle um like if you have mystical destiny if you have that there that'll help out a bit but you gotta make sure you get enough ap to reach the whatever thresholds it might be I know at higher levels, well, lower levels in this case, it'll count, cost more AP to, to trigger that. So that's something to keep in mind. And there's the Wiccan support that kicked in. Again, what I want to do is I want to make sure America doesn't get any quote unquote good matches. We can match, match some of our strongest colors and some of her strongest colors happen to be colors that we're chasing after. Now match fours and team ups, you know, you can, ah, we gave her a match four and now she's, she's boosted up in yellow. But team ups, if you give America team ups, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. Because her, her tickets in the multiverse doesn't activate on team up tiles. So we're about a few more turns away from the Demiurge. I really need some more yellow, but it should take the yellow. Either Teddy, you might want to kick in, man. I know we're at that less than 25% chance, but still, or well, 22% chance. Chain Lightning's not really going to work. I mean, it'll be actually it'll be enough to, to get rid of America right now. There's tickets to the multiverse. And I'll just 
clap back with chain lightning. It doesn't really matter which way I go. I'll pick this this column here. Got me some more boost. Got all the rewards. Got the latest legends token. Everybody in the alliance played with the exception of one, but that's alright. Thanks for the ISO 8. Always need the ISO 8. Now we're actually going to take, take a look at, at Wiccan and people you would want to team Wiccan up with. Alright, Mystical Destiny. That ability should be a lot better than, than what it is. What I mean, I don't mind the needing the 6 AP to to transform into the power of the Demiurge. And so you guys probably heard uh, my phone and I probably should probably should turn it off anyway. We record Mystical Destiny's line now. So looking at Mystical Destiny, I'm cool with the six AP needed in all colors to activate the powers of the Demiurge. The problem the problem that I have is when Wiccan becomes the power of the Demiurge there's no real tangible benefits what i mean like no increase in match damage sure gaining the ap and dealing damage whenever wiccan makes a match that that's unique however there are characters in four star land that will probably be tanking more than Wiccan specifically someone like America Chavez or Ghost or Karnak you know these are characters that I would, that if I were in four star land that I would chase more so than Wiccan but if you happen to have a Wiccan all the other characters who were have higher levels in four star land they are obviously going to taint the colors that Wiccan wants to chase and Wiccan is going to be out in front and that's that's not a, a real good trade off for the power of the Demiurge if it were me with uh, reworking the power of the, the Demiurge I would have a match damage increase and also too with the mystical destiny I would also have the the Hulkling support where you gain AP in whatever color is your weakest color or you don't have AP in that color so that way you can speed up the effects of Mystical Destiny, speed up the transformation process into the power of the Demiurge, and that would make him a little bit better. Not necessarily a busted character, but he would be a little bit more viable. But I know Wiccan is not really known as a quote-unquote tank, but if you're going to have powers that make you a tank you kind of want to have some some extra abilities for you to properly tank now magical barrier this honestly costs a little bit too much and for what it does it doesn't do enough the the, the um, match damage or the damage reduction from matches and powers again that's fairly fine 
in four star land Juggernaut does it passively you have several other characters that that don't really oh well, what's the word I want to say like taking 20% off of match damage with with someone like oh I don't know ghost for example she's still she's still doing a lot of damage to you so I don't think it I don't, don't think it should be should be a percentage I mean well it probably should be a percentage but it should be a higher percentage um mystical destiny should really be a five yellow AP power and again create create more countdown tiles on the board and have it to where if you have more countdown tiles on the board they um, they reduce the damage for I guess you could say the whole entire team if you wanted to do it that way but I'm not really sure how I would do Magical Barrier, you know, past the initial concept. The restoring the health, anytime it's matched or destroyed, that's, that's perfectly cool. I wish it did more than just restore health, I wish it would do damage to the enemy team. You know, considering that that it is a mystical barrier, I would think that would Wiccan at least be in the Sun of the Scarlet Witch. There you have a little bit more defensive capabilities. Again, knowing knowing who he is and and what some alternate personas of Billy Kaplan end up becoming like one for example ends up becoming the Sorcerer Supreme so it's just really underwhelming that they have a power powerful character just underwhelming and then Chain Lightning this needs to be an 8 AP it really does 8 AP if you want to reduce the damage go for it but it should also be able to choose enemy and friendly special tiles to be destroyed. I know I was I was hemming in Holland earlier today about this and I was outweighing the pros and cons. Like, okay, well if this here is targeted with Polaris and Binary Bill, you will have infinite cascade possibilities and uh, I I'm fully aware of that there but I think that's that's something that you probably would have to have to put out there just let him run wild as a as a character that can uh, let the cascades roll I mean the that when have you worked five star Captain Marvel to to do whatever she does now that to kind of ruin the fun so but that's what I would do like as far as a rework for Wiccan but as he stands now he is only worthy of getting rewards that's pretty much it and to let him get his reward you know if you have the ISO 8 to champion Wiccan and there's nobody else that's on the agenda to champion go for it but if there's the higher priority targets let the higher priority targets go let Wiccan not necessarily collect dust but just realize oh hey yeah I probably need the champion Wiccan I got you know X amount of cover, so let's get some rewards in. 
Uh, as far as people that you want to team Wiccan up with, anybody that can generate AP out the wazoo. So that would be someone, at least in three star land that I can think of for sure. I'm going to scroll to find them because I was using them last night in PvP. That's the hood. Now, once the power of the Demiurge kicks in, uh, Dormammu's aid will at least allow you to steal one AP in whatever color it is, which that helps Wiccan a whole lot with the power of the Demiurge, and you don't have to worry about the hood being out in front taking any damage once you get at least 6 AP. At least that helps. Four star land. I mean, you could team him up with America Chavez and Kate Bishop, but you really don't, really don't want to do that there for lore reasons. I mean, outside of lore reasons, my Kate and my America, they'll be tanking for Wiccan, and they'll just be there just absorbing damage and not really contributing anything to the fight unfortunately this is actually really really tough because on the one hand you you look at Wick and you're like okay well he could be useful in, in some situations but then when you when you look at characters on in four and five star land or, or even in three star land they do something a little bit better than what Wiccan can do for example three star star lord he destroys three random tiles I mean well three random columns whenever he does his a bit of both ability whereas Wiccan just does the one and it's just straight damage I mean I guess human towards Jim Hammond but you kind of you kind of want to accumulate the AP first uh, you could do you could do the spider team of spider-man 2099 and maybe I don't know uh, spider Gwen but even then that's a reach too like I'm I'm really trying my best to figure out teams for Wiccan, but every team that I come up with it's is reaching for something. And you would think, oh well Wiccan would be a good counter against Polaris. Well against Polaris, by the time you get enough AP to do the power of the Demiurge and do whatever else that Wiccan likes to do, either Wiccan is downed or Polaris is at half health and she's flirted the board with with one of her special tiles so that kind of defeats the purpose I wouldn't pair Wiccan with Mysterio because Mysterio in his blue drains blue and you kind of want to keep the blue for the power of the Demiurge I mean, you could go with Karnak, but Karnak will, will end up being a tank anyways. With his find the flaw, you know, the, the match damage, so that eliminates, eliminates Wiccan, and Wiccan will be out in front. I don't know, maybe Black Widow so for the cheaper AP, but again... Like I said, you, you, you want to keep the AP and then fire it all off at the same time. I don't know. I think I'm just rambling now, trying to trying to rack my brains for Wiccan teams, and I just can't think of any. And like I said, it really does stink too, because I actually like him as a character in the comic books. I think his concept as a, char as a character is pretty cool. Unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do with it, and that's the 
That's the shameful part too. So I'm gonna go and clean up the rest of these PvP stuff and do a little bit more of the Deadpool Daily. I'll finish all that there off off cam. Then I'll get back to recording both the the introduction for well, introducing Mantis and then day two welcome the shield. We'll do that and then we'll do Venom Bomb immediately after that, so let me do whatever whatever it is that I need to do and I will catch you guys in the next video.